kept my emotions under control for the most part, so that was good too. Um, you know, things kind of got out of hand there in the third, but um, you know, after that happens, all you can do is go up a couple more zeros and, and hope it keeps you to the game. And you know, I try to do that, and uh, you know, it just so happened that I you know, couldn't get a couple more across, but you know that happens, and all the confidence in the world is in these guys uh, on our offense. So. Um, you know, all I can do is throw up a couple more zeros and you know, see where it takes us. Can you, can you share what was said between you and Buddy when he came out? Because after that, you seem to settle down a little bit. Yeah, he just uh, reiterated, you know, his confidence that he has in me, and um, you know, told me that you know, my stuff was was fine, and I just have to you know, get the ball down a little bit. And um, you know, I think that was you know a good thing to hear for me at the time, and I think it got me back on track. Yeah, you look back at that interview. You know, those word strikes just not where you are. Right? How do you assess mm -hmm. what that what, what, what you can do to you get through it? Yeah, I think it was just kind of a little mechanical tweak that that you know I, I kind of get, got into a bad habit um, there, and I kind of sunk a little bit in my legs and didn't really allow myself to get on top of the ball and drive it down. So um, you know, Daryl Scott actually brought it to my attention in the dugout, and after that it was you know kind of smooth sailing. So. Uh, it's just something that I'll that I'll take into my next bullpen session and, and really hammer down. The curveball especially looked sharp. Like, were you getting strikes when you wanted and, and not strikes when you didn't want to strike? Yeah, besides the third inning. Yeah. Um, I, was, I actually said it to Buddy after he, after he pulled me. It was probably the best um, feel for my curveball I've had in Denver, um, you know, like all the times I've pitched here. So uh, it was something that I was really happy about, and um, I'm excited to, you know, keep that going. Seems like you've been working on some of those things, not having a mechanical flash show up in the middle of an outing. You feel like this was your best outing as far as that's concerned, even though you're in AAA. This looks a little yeah. bit different. Yeah, yeah. It was, uh, it was good. I felt like I was under control for the most part. You know, even even that adjustment that I had to make was, was very minor. Um, and you know, you saw from from then on there was there was nothing um, really that I was you know, curveballs weren't really staying up. You know, when I wanted to get them down they were they were down so um, you know, happy I was able to make the adjustment on the fly, and um, you know, next time do it before we give up a few runs. Um, so you're on the mound, and there's going to be a visit. Usually, it's the pitcher coach for the manager to walk up there. What did you immediately do? I turned around and looked at the bullpen because I didn't know if there was somebody warming up that quick. I was like, oh, that was, that was quick. Um, but yeah, when he came when he came out, that was um, usually when he comes out, it's it's a teaching moment, and you know all eyes and all ears on him and um, he's been around for a long time doing this for a long time so I'm all ears.